Hi, in this video, let's have a look at how we can add the show password functionality using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Here in the HTML file, all we have is an input tag with the type of password. At the bottom, we have a button which we will be using to toggle between showing and hiding the password. And that's all we need for the HTML. Now let's add some styles. So I'll go to my CSS file. First, let's add a few styles to the body. We'll give it a height of 100 VH. Let's enter the input field and the button. So we'll set the display to flex. Justify content to the center and align items to the center. Also, let's give the body a gradient background. So I'll say background, linear gradient. We want the gradient to start from the left and move to the right. So we'll say to right. The first color will be 552F88. And the next color will be 54739C. Now let's style the input element. We'll say background color. We'll use an RGBA of black with an opacity of 0.4 also let's change the color of the font to white we'll change the font size to 1.5 rem we don't want the borders we'll change the height to 3 rem we'll give it a width of 300 pixel a border radius of 0.3 rem. Now when you type in the input field, you can see that the characters are sticking to the extreme left. So let's give it a slight padding to the left. So we'll give it a padding to the left of 1 rem. Now let's check it. This looks better. Now let's also style the button. So we'll select the button. And first, we'll remove all the default styles. So we'll use the all property and set its value to initial. Next, we want the button to be displayed inside the input field. So we'll use the transform property. We'll say translate on the x-axis by negative 4 rem. And as you can see, the button now is displayed inside the input field. Let's change the color of the text to 777 also let's change the font family to sans serif let's add a letter spacing of 0.1 rem also let's change the cursor to pointer and that is all we need for the css for now now let's go to our script file and add some javascript first let's select the input element so i'll name it as input We'll say document dot query selector and we'll select the input. Similarly, also let's select the button. We'll change the name of the variable to btn. Now let's select the button and we'll add an event listener of click and we'll run a function. Now here, we'll be using the if else statement. Now when the user clicks on the show button, we want to change the text of the button to hide. So let's do that. We'll say if btn.innerText is equal to show, we want to change it to hide. So we'll say btn.innerText is equal to Hide. Also, at the same time, we want to change the type of the input to text. So let's do that. We'll say input dot type is equal to text. So now let's check it in the browser. So when I click on show, it changes to hide. And let's type in something. Now you can see that it is in the text format and not a password. However, when I click on the hide button again, I want to change it back to show. 
So let's do that. For this, we'll use the else statement. We'll say button dot inner text is equal to show. Also, at the same time, we want the input type to be password. I'll type something here and I'll click on the show button. The show button has now changed to hide and also the password is now plain text. And when I click on the hide button again, it changes back to show and the type of text has now changed back to type of password. And that's exactly what we want. However, we're still facing a problem. If you notice, when I click on the button, you can see that the input field is moving slightly. And that's not something that we want. So in order to change that, we'll have to go to a CSS file and add a fixed width to our button. So let's do that. So we'll go to a CSS file. Now before we do that, let's for a moment simply comment out the all property just to see what's actually happening. Now when I click on the show button, you can see that the size of the button is changing. And that is exactly why the input field is also shifting. So what we can do is simply give this button a fixed width. So I'll give it a max width of 2 rem. And now when I click on the button, the input field remains as it is. Now all we need to do is simply uncomment the all property. And this looks better. So that was a short tutorial on how we can add a show and hide password functionality using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So hope you liked the video. I'll see you in another one. Till then, have a nice day.